Good morning. Good morning. It's hot, isn't it? Yeah, it is. She seems pretty cool for someone who thinks it's hot. My name is Shusuke Haki. I'm a 25-year-old employee at an office goods store. The girl that's not very expressive next to me is my boss, Mei Nagato. She's a 28-year-old manager. We often ride the same train into work, so I always look forward to it. But we've never really hit it off. Nagata-san is getting promoted quick because she doesn't have any emotions. She's only capable of focusing on work. She's a robot. I think that's only about 20% factual. That's how unexpressive she is. She's just checking documents on the way to work, too. She really only does focus on work, doesn't she? She's so beautiful, so I wish I could see her smiling. I'm sure it'll never happen, but maybe when she's fumbling or something... Whoa! Ah! I apologize about that. Someone seems to have pressed the emergency stop button. Sorry, I didn't mean to! It's okay. It's not like you could have helped it. Still cool as ever. She kind of smelled good. I'm so full of nasty thoughts. Ugh! Hey, Hakikun? Yes, ma'am? What do you think about these numbers? I was told it was decent, but I think we can improve the numbers. Um, if the higher-ups say it's fine, I think it's fine. But that was half a year ago, right? What's wrong? I like to occasionally look back on everything and try to improve. Wow, you're very diligent. I wonder if she ever thinks about anything other than work. It's not like I wanted to talk about it, but that lunch break, when I was talking to my co-workers, we started talking about her. You think Nagato-san has any hobbies? I don't know. No one knows about what she does in private. Everyone thinks the same thing about her, huh? You like to chase around celebrities, right? That was last month. I met a really cute girl at a cafe, and my hobby now is to help her as much as possible. I feel like Nagato-san probably doesn't have any celebrity crushes. Yeah. I wonder what kind of person is her type. This is Kudamatsu. As you can tell, he's a good-looking guy. What about your hobby? Mm, going to clubs, maybe. I love being outside and partying. Ah, party people. A few days later, we would find out something shocking. I guess I'll be here for about 30 extra minutes. I'll work a little harder, I guess. Great job today. Thank you. Huh? You're going home? Yes. I finished my work, though don't worry. Nagata-san always stays behind even if she finishes her work, because she wants to start working ahead, but she seems nervous. I wonder if something happened. Nagato-san, do you have a sec? There's something I'm not sure about tomorrow's meeting. Nagata-san is going home. You can ask about it tomorrow, right? I mean, sure, but... What? What's going on? Yeah, I'm shocked too. Well, I found a celebrity crush. Huh? Crush? Yeah, crush. I want to go home and really indulge myself. So yeah, can you ask me tomorrow? Sure. Who's your crush, though? I don't have time, so I'll tell you later. See ya. See you. Did you see her face? She was a girl! I wonder who the crush is. An anime character? An actor? I'm so curious! Haki, can you think of anyone? You're always in the train with her, right? Not at all. But she was listening to music recently. She had her earphones in. Ah, so it's probably a music artist. I'm so curious! The news that Nagato-san found a celebrity crush spread far and wide in the office. Nagato-san completely changed after that. Good morning. Good morning. She's got her earphones in again. She's still just as distant when she greets me. But she seems all nervous and having fun when she's listening to music. I didn't know she could be this way. Nagato-san started leaving work on time. She always finished her day's work on time, so it was never a problem. She's also vanishing during lunch. She's probably listening to music somewhere. Who's the person who changed her that much? 
Everyone was curious. I wanted to ask her, but she must be busy chasing around her crush. I can't seem to catch her when she's free. But then, I found a perfect moment. Cheers! It's been so long since we've been out for drinks. We're off tomorrow. Let's have fun! Nagato-san is surrounded by very social people, including Kudamatsu. They're definitely gonna ask her about the crush. I'm going to be there to listen. So? Who's the crush? That was fast. Great job, Mobuko. It's a YouTube streamer. I wanted to learn how to make better ads, so I was watching videos. Then I found a hat rising suggestion. Huh. That's surprising. Who is it? Can you tell us? N no I could never speak of his name. I've never seen her all nervous like this. She really is into the sky. Then give us a hint! He basically streams games and just chatting. I watch game streams, so I might know him. He's so incredibly attractive. Huh. She actually is attracted to pretty faces. An attractive game streamer. I feel like I know a few. He's got, like, 50,000 subs, I think. Hmm... If he's good-looking, does that mean he's got a good voice? Hmm... He uses a voice changer, so I don't know what he really sounds like. I see. I can't think of anyone that fits the bill perfectly. That's enough of that subject. What? Come on! Tell us more! You know I'm not good with chit-chat. Yeah... She's not going to talk about this more. The party went smoothly, and I was just nodding my head the whole time. I quietly went to the bathroom. A voice-changing, good-looking game streamer. Ah, Kudamatsu. He looks... serious? That's rare. I should leave him alone. It was a Friday, so we were off the next day. Some people went to the after-party. As you could imagine, I was someone who elected to just go home. Oh, you're going home too? Yeah, I can't really let loose with the boss there, you know? And I want to go watch the archives of my celeb crush. I see. You really seem to be having fun with that recently. You think so? Do I look giddy? Nothing like that. You just seem to be having a lot of fun. <laughs> I guess I never thought that liking someone like this would make my life so much better like this. She looks so cute. Someone she likes, huh? I'm so curious who it is. Ah! I can't believe I said I like my celeb crush. It's not like real love, and I'm not going too far. <laughs> I know. She looks so bubbly and positive. I like how cool and calm she is, but she's pretty cute now too. I started working hard on my hobby on the weekend, because I was affected by Nagato-san, not realizing the surprise that I would find out on Monday. Good morning. Hmm? What's with the commotion? We found out something insane! Kuramatsu-kun was her celebrity crush! What?! Good, good morning That's why Nagato-san is all... frozen. Talk about a small world. From what I heard, Kudamatsu came out and told everyone on the weekend. Huh? Why didn't Nagata-san realize that it was Kudamatsu? He was hiding half his face with a mask. And remember, he was using a voice changer? So that's why she didn't know. He said he often went to the club, so I really didn't expect that from him. He was too shy, so he didn't reveal his name. The people who figured it out would be able to confirm with him. Everyone was trying to figure out what his username was. But Nagato-san was just working perfectly, as usual. Hakikun, I finished checking your documents. I've summarized what I think you can fix. After you finish up, you can send it to the clients. Thank you. All right, let's check the chat. Huh. Her corrections are so easy to understand and agreeable. She's incredible, figuring this out in such a short time. I had so many things I respected about her. However, Nagato-san, can I ask you a question? E yes She gets all nervous when Kudamatsu talks to her. I mean, she is her crush. Everyone thought it was cute how she blushed. 
but for some reason, I was just... upset. Oh, hey, Haki! Hey, Kudamatsu. You must be having a tough time handling everything with work and the stream. I mean, I'm glad that our company is okay with having a side gig. There might be more streamers because of this, huh? Can you tell me all about streaming one of these days? I want to learn how to stream. Oh, I don't really want to talk about streaming to my real-life friends. You gotta separate it, you know? I guess... you haven't even told anyone your account name. Exactly. I wonder what kind of stream captivates THE Nagato-san. I wish I could stream something like that so she would fall for me. Wait... Do I want her to like me? Why didn't I realize it sooner? I'd fallen for her. I mean, she is a wonderful woman. But I'm sure she's not into me. Uh... Good morning. Good morning. There were so many people getting on the train today. I didn't notice you. It is busy today. Are you listening to the archives? Sorry to interrupt you. You looked upset, so I was just a little curious. I'm glad you're okay, though. She's talking to me a little more than before. I feel like after she found her crush, she's more approachable. I wonder what kind of stream she's watching. Just quietly peek over. Huh? Wait, this streamer? No way! I didn't have any balls to approach her, even though I knew how I felt about her. I was just watching her from afar. Eventually, I started getting busy in my private life. I was too busy to think about anything. So it was nice. I'm heading out now. Ah! Sorry, are you okay? You're not hurt? You just bumped into me. No worries. Okay, sorry about that. I'm in a hurry, so I gotta go. Yeah, take care. Huh? A piece of paper? Maybe Haki couldn't drop it when he was passing by. Huh? Is this? Why does he have this? Huh? Where is it? It's not here? Where did I drop it? I looked in the bag, and I couldn't find my important paperwork. I noticed when I got home. I left my bag open, so it might have dropped somewhere. No. It's possible I just left it on my desk. I need to go back to the office. Hello? Ah, uh, everyone's already gone. What a great company letting everyone go home on time. All right, where are my documents? I can't find it. You looking for this? Nagato-san! <laughs> Rare of you to be staying late. Yeah, I had more pressing matters than my crush. What happened? I just picked this up. Huh? Oh. Inaguri new outfit design plans? Why did you have this? How? Well... You're THE Inaguri, aren't you? Yes. You knew about Enaguri, huh? That was my username. I'd been streaming from when I was a student. The name came from the fact that I loved energy drinks. Thinking back now, it all kinds of makes sense. You talk just like he does when he does just chatting. And you've got a lot of energy drinks on your desk. You were watching, huh? Thank you. I've watched all of the archives. <laughs> but because you're my celeb crush. Okay, uh, thank you. What? I thought your crush was Kudamatsu! I called him a second ago, and he told me he was lying. He just wanted me to like him. That little... But you said it was a good-looking guy. I've got a weird mask on when I stream. That design is seriously the cutest thing I've seen. I don't understand. He uses a voice changer, right? I don't. Really? I must have been mistaken, then. Oh, I use a cheap mic, though. Maybe it does sound a little distorted. I see. Nagato-san's celebrity crush was me, and she was supporting me so much. I'm so happy. Um, can I keep being your fan? I'll make sure to separate private life from work life. Uh, of course. Thank you. After finding out she was a fan, I was able to really lean into this streaming thing. I had more and more subscribers, and I even started getting sponsored streams. It's been incredible. Oh yeah, Kudamatsu quit his job because he was afraid after she figured out he was lying. 
I'm sure that's his way of settling things. One day, I was called up by Nagato-san. I, I, I think I've realized something. What is it? I'm not only interested in Inadori. I like you too. Huh? I love how hard you work here and when you stream. I know you said you don't have relationships with viewers, but can you reconsider? Uh, of course! You're a viewer, but you're an incredibly attractive boss before you're a viewer. Uh, I'd love to go out with you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Afterwards, I was able to report that I made a girlfriend. A lot of the viewers were happy that I found someone. My private life and professional life were both incredibly fulfilling. Oh, I'm so tired. What do I do for dinner? I don't want to cook now. I'll just go to the store and buy some discounted stuff. My name is Reiji Takatsuki. I'm 26 and I'm going to the store now. I know that it's healthier to cook for yourself, but when I'm working, I rely on store-bought food and instant food when I work. Let's see, what am I going to eat? How about some delicious melons? They're really juicy! Melons, huh? They do look good. You could tell she was beautiful from afar. No one went up to her though, and she seemed nervous about it. Ah, she looked at me! Would you like one? Um, sure. Oh, that's really good! Right? It's very flavorful and juicy. Ah, she's even prettier when she smiles. I don't want to just try it and leave, so... Is there some cut ones? I live alone, so one whole one is too much. Of course! Right here. I'll take one box. Thank you! The bento was cheap too. Today was a good day. And I got a beautiful woman's smile too. I could feel myself healing. A few days later, I was at the store again. All the food I cooked on the weekend was gone. What do I eat tonight? How about some fried wieners? Ah, she's giving out food again. It's the same lady. Would you like to try one? Yeah, I'd like one. Of course. Oh, you're the gentleman who bought the... Yeah, the melons. You remember your customers' faces? I was so worried that I couldn't sell anything and you saved me, so I remembered you. Thank you for that. No, no, it was really good. Seems like she's not able to sell anything again. I feel like kids would love this stuff. I wonder why. I'd like a back. Wait, did I say too much and pressure you? You don't need to buy one. No, no, they're really good. Great. I wish everyone would try. It's tough, though. Oh, sorry, I'm straying off topic again. Sorry about that. <laughs> don't worry about it. How about you try being a little more bold? Bold? Like, you know this is sales, but if you're confident, then the customers will be more confident too. All right, that makes sense. All right, bold! <laughs> She's kind of cute. I worked late often after that, so I barely made it to the store. There wasn't enough at the store anymore, so I started going to the convenience store. Then, one day on my way home... You dropped your train pass. Oh, thanks. Wait, she looks familiar. Oh, you're the melon and wiener guy! Oh, you're the sample food lady! She looked different, so I didn't recognize her. I followed your advice and my sales record went up. Thank you! Oh, I'm glad to hear that, but it's not thanks to me, it's your hard work and effort. No, no, thank you for the advice. I know you come often. Do you live nearby? Yeah, I live around here. Me too! Would you like to walk together? I'm not very good with dark roads. If you're okay with me, of course. I'm looking for a new job. I see, she's looking for a new job. Would you like to try working at my company? It's my business card. Huh? Utena Japan? You know of us? Yeah, of course. It's a very popular company. <laughs> you got a great voice and I think you'd be a great salesperson. I know someone in HR, so you want me to put in the word? That would help, but Utenet is kind of a big company. I feel like I couldn't keep up. You're fine. That company is very good at teaching new hires. Um, can I think about it a little bit? Yeah, I'll be waiting for an answer. My name is Reiji Takatsuki. Oh, it's on my business card. My name is Kaho Izumi. Thank you for all the help. A month later, she transferred in as a salesperson. I'm in product development, so I don't really see her. 
but it's nice to know that we're in the same office. I would find the time to go by the studio and watch her sell things. All of the employees are allowed to walk around the different departments. Ah, oh, perfect, she's recording. Today's product is about a bread knife that cuts through with no effort. Watch. See? No effort at all. She pretty good, huh? She's a new hire, Royce. Yeah. She sells stuff faster than the CEO does. She's beautiful. That smile would make me buy anything too, Roy. Yeah, that is a beautiful smile. She used to kind of fake smile, but now she seems more genuine. I'm so hungry. What do I eat today? Hey, Takatsuki-san. Azumi-san, are you eating lunch? Yeah, I'm about to take lunch now. Would you like to eat with me? I'd love to. How's work going? I'm getting used to it. Oh, I'm so glad I was able to join this company thanks to you. Oh, it's fine. I, I just introduced you. No, you pushed me to come here. That's why I'm able to work with a bold smile. <laughs> nice. You come by the studio often, don't you? Are you coming for work? Crap, she saw me, huh? I can't tell her I'm here to see her. I mean, uh, kind of to get an idea for product development? Oh, I see. Everyone was praising you. You're a really great salesperson. <laughs> They're just being kind. You remember the store? It just means that you're in the right place now. You are someone who should be on camera. <laughs> you're incredible too. Huh? You're great at motivating me. I feel like I could sell anything right now. Whoa, she, she's so cute. I think I'll buy anything right now. I was more efficient the day I had lunch with Azumi-san. They lasted for a while, so you gotta respect the power of love. That's right, I was in love with her. So, I'm gonna go home on time. Guess I'll buy some beer and go home. I headed to the store that she used to work at. I was Ubering all the time, so it's been a while since I've been there. Wow, all the old women are surrounding the sample corner, so I can't get past them. This is not where you have your little gossip circles. About Izumi-san who was here before. Huh? Azumi-san? We forced her to quit, but now she's all on her high horse. She's on TV, right? She must have gotten on her knees for that. I felt so good seeing her not able to sell anything. That was hilarious! I'm so glad I talked to all the neighbors. She thinks she's so amazing just because she's a little pretty. What? So all the people were avoiding her because of them? I don't believe it. Hello, would you like one? Yeah, I'd love one. That's disgusting. I think the flavor is good when the person who's selling it is good. And by the same token, when someone is horrible and rotten, the food tastes horrible and rotten. What? How about fixing your personality, huh? Your products are gonna rot like you. Excuse me, I know you're a customer, but... Takatsuki-san, what are you doing? Oh, Azumi-san. She called me at a bad time. He must know her, huh? Ah, uh, I see what's going on. Let's just get away from here. Y yeah By the time I was at the park, I uh, had calmed down. Crap, I went too far. And I'm sure I made her look worse than they already think of her. Uh, what do I do? It's not like you to be like that. Right, sorry about that. Was it for me? I mean, it's not like that. I know they don't like me, but it can't be helped, so you don't need to worry about it. What do you mean it can't be helped? What did you do? Yes, I did something. Huh? Will you hear me out? She's very serious. Yes? I had someone I was going out with before. Okay. I mean, she's just beautiful. That makes sense. But I turned out to be his mistress. What? Izumi-san was a mistress? The second I found out that he had someone else, I broke up with him. But I was doing something horrible anyway. From what she said, someone put flyers all around the city, explaining what she had done. It must have been the girlfriend that did it. Then all of the neighbors started talking about her behind her back. It's the guy's fault. And uh, being here any longer, I'm going to say something mean. Thank you for talking to me, Azumi-san. I'm going to leave for now. Okay. Good night. I walked away as if to run. I didn't even know what kind of sad look she had on her face. Uh, I haven't seen him in a while. He's not at the studio again. Live in five, four, 
<sighs> I'm sure he wouldn't like this damaged girl. Start! Hello, everyone. Let's start with our shopping. Takatsuki, there were mistakes in your report. Sorry, sir, I'm on it. I mean, it's only in-house, so it's not a big deal. Uh, make sure you be careful so it doesn't turn into something worse. Yes, sir. Ugh, I keep making small mistakes recently. Hmm? A call from the office? Hello? This is Takatsuki. Hey, it's Izumi. Izumi-san? I didn't know your private contact info, so I just called your office line. Um, can I talk to you tonight? At the same bench from before, in the park? Sure, I'll be able to get out on time, so I'll head over when I'm out of work. Thank you. Excuse me? Talk, huh? I wonder what she wants to talk about. She was already at the park by the time I got there. She looks beautiful under the lamp. Ugh, stop it, me! Sorry to keep you waiting. I just got here, no worries. B been a minute. It has. H how is work recently? I heard there was a new product being released. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty good. I'm excited to see it. I'll do my best to sell it. Yeah, thanks. So, uh, what is it that you wanted to talk about? Um, uh, uh, hang on one second. What is she doing? Ta-da! Take a look at this! Huh? The little thing they use on screen. Damaged product. I if you'd like, how about you try a sample? There's some damage from the past, but it's free. Huh? Um, are you asking me out? Uh, yes. <laughs> I figured if maybe I do it like I do on camera, it would go well. <laughs> Didn't work out, huh? You stopped coming to the studio after that day. I thought that maybe you hated me or something now, but I just had to tell you how I feel. Because I was a little lonely. Azumi-san, I didn't hate you at all. I heard the story and I was a little jealous. Jealous? About what? Don't run away from me, but uh, I was jealous of the guy from before. I didn't want you to think less of me for that, so I put distance between us. Would you like to go out with a guy like me? Not just a sample? Yes, no matter what happens, I won't return this product. Is that okay? I love that. Thank you. Three years later, she became the queen of Uternet shopping. Anything she sold, it sold out quick. Today. Today's product is this. A crime tour for newlyweds. You went on this tour, right, Izumi-san? I did. I had a lot of fun. The ocean was beautiful, and both my husband and I were excited like kids. The sunset was romantic, and all right, I think they get the idea. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I'll be waiting for your calls. Hey, want to do a psychology test together? This girl that's asking me this is my childhood friend. My name is Shogo Yanagawa. Her name is Kaho Asakura. As you can see, she's beautiful. She's also my neighbor. A psychology test at 23 years old? People do it often during matchmaking parties. You probably don't know because you don't go to them. You don't go either. <laughs> What is she up to now? Kaho was the kind of girl that people asked to be class president. She wasn't forced, she was just really hardworking and straight-edged. Everyone thought she was perfect for the role. When she was in middle school, she worked as student class president as well. She was incredibly popular. We're going to have the field day soon. Please don't forget your flags. And make sure you fix your shoes in the shoebox, please. Yes, ma'am. You don't need to salute me. That year's field day? No one forgot their flags. All the shoes in the shoebox were lined up perfectly as well. She had a weakness, though. It's anything related to romance. Mobuyama kun asked that Mobuyama chan. That's why they went home together. They held hands. Huh, 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 hands? Held them? Uh, yeah. What's wrong? Why is everyone acting normal? It's hands! They're in middle school. In... in a... Are you trying to say inappropriate? Were you listening? They shouldn't do that! We've held hands. Uh, that's when we were young. It doesn't count. Okay, when can you hold hands then? W well, once you get married. What? She's really naive. 
Yeah... You guys are too mature! But... What is it like... Holding hands? Try it. I... 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 I, I, I can't! I'm the class president! I don't think that has anything to do with it. She was like this in high school too, apparently. She went to a school that was incredibly smart. Then she went to a different prefecture to go to a really smart college. I just went to a regular local college, so we never ran into each other either. Time flew by and I was 23 years old. Good, good. Muru is at Kaho's house? Did her parents come back? Her parents went to the countryside when she went to college, so the house was empty. Ah, Shogo! Kaho, what? I just came back to my house is all. Oh, right. I mean, I didn't even think of that. We're neighbors again. Can you help me unpack if you're free? I'll repay you. Thank you! I'll be waiting. N no way. I I'm 23 now. I can talk about anything and everything. Uh-huh. So, no difference in that field, huh? I'm sure she won't freak out over holding hands anymore, though. What do you do now? I'm a cafe employee in front of the station. You should come by sometime. Cafe, huh? Y y you must be popular. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. <laughs> but I am surrounded by cuties. What? My life is so nice. I don't even want any days off. I just want to work. Uh, I, I see. Is there anyone like that you've uh, done anything with? She's suddenly being weird. Wait, is she making a mistake? I should mess with her a little bit. We're always holding each other. Holding? I feed them too. Huh? Sometimes we nap together. I'm surrounded by cuties so much that I can't decide who's my favorite. You're moving things along with multiple at once? This is the same as middle school. Just as cute. Just kidding, actually. No! Don't tell me! Inappropriate! Delinquent! Really? Go home! Wait, hear me out! I don't want to hear this story! What? I might have gone too far. I'll apologize to her later. I was regretting and Kaho was. Uh, he's grown up so much while I was gone. He might have thought that I was a child because of how I acted. But then he won't talk to me because he's an adult. Alright. I'll talk to my friend Tomomiya-chan for help. I want to apologize, but I don't have her contact info. I guess it's weird to go to her house, huh? I'd like to play with Foster Card, please. Sure. Also, can I make reservations? I want to come when you're here. Thank you. I forgot that I'm surrounded by young women. I'll ask for help with Kyle. But I was busy for a while, so I didn't have time to ask about romance. Yes, romance. My feelings were ignited when I saw my first crush, Kaho. I teased her like I was in elementary school. Who we'll just say that it was because I was too excited? Mom and Dad are both gone right now. Who is it? Hey! Kakaho? Your parents aren't here today, right? Let's eat together. Yay, awesome, thanks! This is my chance to apologize. This is my chance to make him know I've grown up. Oh, that's so good. You really improved. Have I made anything for you? You made me Valentine's Day chocolate once. The fancier with chocolate was the best. Oh, you remember that? I was so happy. R really? I see. Crap, this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. Why don't we do a psychology test after eating? At age 23? They do this at matchmaking parties. You probably don't know because you don't go. We haven't gone either. <laughs> There's something going on. What she got up her sleeve? We finished eating and moved into the living room. All right, here we go. Okay. You guys can all think too. You're walking through the yard when you realize you're in the water. Are you in a puddle, a pond, or a lake? Hmm, I guess a pond? Th this test is to see how strong someone's uh, sex drive is. You can't be shy if you're the one asking. Someone who chose two means you've got an average sex drive. That's a boring answer from a matchmaking party. Right, uh, a pond is low and a lake is high. Why is she asking me these questions when she's not good with that topic? Trying to mess with me? Let's go for it. What happened to the apology? What, which did you choose? M me 
we don't need to hear about me. I know the answer. I guess so. My next tactic... I'm gonna read something real quick, hang on. What? From what Tomomiya-chan said... Uh, oh, this is way too advanced! What's that? Um, you're alone tonight, right? Yeah. Can I stay over then? What? I'm alone too, so I'm a little, you know, lonely. I don't have a futon. You probably don't want to sleep in my parents' bed, right? I can sleep in the same bed as you. What? C calm down, me. Don't be excited. She's just messing with me. Uh, okay, then. Then what's next? What is next? Go buy me rubbers. Sorry, you freaked me out. Rubbers? You don't use rubbers? No, I... So, five seconds, go! One, two... I'm going! Rubber, huh? Her jokes are going a little too far, don't you think? Wait a second. I've seen this in a Utah Chan video. This is just for hair ties. She's staying over, so that has to be it. I'm home! W welcome home? Did you get them? Yeah! Here you go, hair ties! W what? Hair ties? Hair ties? Yeah, made of rubber. Wait, did you mean rubber bands? Oh, what are you? Pure and innocent or something? Huh? Are you thinking of rubbers that start with C? Yeah, that's what adults mean when they say rubbers. She really doesn't understand. I don't know what's going on, but you can't just say never mind. I'm just joking when something happens. I'm stronger than you, so no matter what happens, you can't tease me like that. Oh, but, 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 you figured out what I was doing! Well, yeah, someone put you up to this, huh? Uh, it didn't work. It's not that I want to tease you, though. I just wanted to know that I could talk to you about these things. Oh, because I messed with you before? Sorry, I should have apologized sooner. Messed with me? About work, uh, the real story about that. You know what? It'll be faster if you just come by. Are you off tomorrow? Yeah, I'm off because it's Sunday. Then you should come to the cafe that I work at. I'm free too. Okay. Are you still going to stay over? I'm going to go home and figure out what I did wrong today. I was waiting for her at the house when she showed up and we headed to my office. I I'm nervous. I'm going to see your co-workers. Yeah, they're so cute. Huh? I'm not messing with you either. I'm serious. Right over here. Huh? This is... It's a micro pig cafe. Oh, they're so cute! Right? Moboyama-san, can I have the private room? We're empty right now, so feel free. I worked at a micro pig cafe. It's like a rat cafe. You sit down first, then... Oh, they're all over me! They're very affectionate to people. I can feel myself being healed. You really are surrounded by cuties. Right? I feed them and sleep with them too. I sometimes bathe them. You take really good care of them. Wow, you're a hard worker. Come on, Masabi, down! Whoa, so smart! Look at that, she complimented you. Tell me their names. That's Muscle and that's Benke. Oh, I can feel myself being healed. Can I go when you're working next time? Yeah, we'll be waiting. Um, about last night. Hmm? I thought you didn't like that I messed with you, so you started acting like you're all grown up, you know? We'll ignore how you tried to show it, but you didn't realize that I was messing with you. Why did you want me to know that you grew up? Well... There was a hunch. Honestly, it was more of a wish. Um... But I shouldn't push for an answer now. She's not good at that kind of thing. Just tell me when you feel comfortable, huh? Yeah. Just wait a little, okay? Yeah, I'll be waiting. Time flew by. Wasabi, down! Oink! What? That was my thing! You little cheater! <laughs> then one day... I heard your parents weren't here, so I came over to hang out. Thanks, but I already finished eating. I finished eating, too. Um, I'm here to talk to you. Huh? C can we do another psychology test? Sure. Um, there are three cute little piggies. Um, there's a big one, a medium one, and a small one. 
Which one do you squeeze? I don't know. I want to hug them all. The person who answered that is in love with his childhood friend. What? What if I choose the big one? You're in love with your childhood friend. The middle one? You're in love with your childhood friend. The small one? You're in love with your childhood friend! But by the way, I would hug them all too. So you're in love with your childhood friend? Y yes She's so cute. She must have come up with this with her friend. Actually, no, she probably thought about this all day. Can I hug my childhood friend instead of a pig? <laughs> Inappropriate? It's not if it's with you. Honestly, if it's with you, inappropriate is appropriate. I said you shouldn't say things like that in front of a man. But it's true. So yeah, Muscle, I'm now a man. Want to hear it too, Benkei? Don't talk to the pigs. Get to work. Okay. I kissed her and she basically passed out. We don't really have much PDA compared to other couples, but I'm happy. Holding hands is a good feeling. It feels warm. Me, Toyo. You're eating convenience store food again? What's it to you? It's fine, but it's not good for you. You should have your girlfriend make you a bento. I don't have a girlfriend! This beautiful woman, Keina Nakata, is my co-worker. She was the center of attention with how elegant she was at the welcoming party, and I was basically forgotten about. We work in different departments, but she still hangs out with me from time to time because we're co-workers. Uh, sorry, I meant... she teases me. She always asks if I have a girlfriend, and I always say I don't. It's become a routine at this point. You're eating convenience store food too. It's a new thing. It's booming on Insta. It's popular with girls, so how about you get your girlfriend to go buy it? I don't have a girlfriend! Look, they're going at it again. <laughs> Are they students? One day, we were having a drinking party with our department. Hello? Nakata? Why are you here? Like, you're not in our department. I was invited, so I decided to stop by. I'm sure one of the Nakata fans invited her. She was beautiful and kind, so she was a popular girl. Just as you'd expect, she was immediately surrounded by the other guys from the department. There were some girls too, so you could tell how popular she really was. Miyoto, your glass is empty. What do you want? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Tomonaga-san's an incredibly social co-worker. Like, he started working here before me. He's really good at making the party really pop, and he's apparently frequently called to make speeches at weddings. There are pretty much only men around here. So I guess we can do some dirty jokes, huh? Tomonaga? You're drunk. I was drunk too, though. Like, that's how it just slipped out without me thinking. Even though it was a company drinking party. A virgin? Yeah. Like, I've held hands, but when I was thinking about how to set the mood, I... I got rejected. Dude, what kind of innocent little Christian boy are you? You have no idea. Like, I'm the purest of innocent boys. While I was talking to all of the guys, there was one woman who was staring at me. He's a virgin? Lunch, the next day. Oh, my head. You look sick. You okay? I drank too much. I, like, I'm kind of hungover. You didn't have your girlfriend make you some soup or something? I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> we just talked, and normally after that exchange, she would leave. Not today, though. Right, because you're a virgin. Huh? Why do you know that? You told everyone at the party. Why, I do not remember that! That's how there was now a new line in the whole conversation. Your tie is crooked. How about you get your girlfriend to tie it for you? I don't have a girlfriend. Yeah, explains why you're a virgin. Uh, just like this. She must be trying to be nice when she whispers that I'm a virgin. It's always fun messing with her, but things are just different recently. I kind of figured why. The reason she would always tease me for being a virgin was because she wasn't. She's beautiful, so she's got to have a boyfriend. It kind of hurt me thinking that. 
I kind of just went for it because of that. One day, it happened as usual. You're a virgin. Like, it's got nothing to do with you. And I'm not anymore. What? Oh, what did I say? What kind of child am I? Like, lying because someone was teasing me? You aren't a virgin? Where are you wobbling to? Uh, I guess she's upset because I ruined the usual flow of things. She must have really been upset. Like, she stopped talking to me entirely. What the hell? She teased me that whole time? And now she stops? Oh, hey, Nakata. H hey This is awkward. I should tell her that I was just lying. Who's the girl? Huh? Oh, she thinks that I have a girlfriend because I lied. Is she always at your house? I don't have a girlfriend! Ah, there's the regular conversation. I see. Uh, I think it's the regular conversation? All right, then we're drinking at home tonight. I'll bring the booze, so you better be ready. Huh? This is my floor. She's coming over? Like, what's she talking about being ready? I wanted to ask her, but she disappeared. Wait! She wouldn't read my texts either. 8 p.m. that night. You really came over. Hello. Hmm, I see. No toothbrush and no dishes. You're not living together at all yet. Why is she mumbling? She went home and changed. She looked much more casual than usual. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. Come on, let's drink. Uh, yeah. We drank together sometimes after we started working together. But she's never been over to drink. Huh. It doesn't taste like booze at all. Hey, how was your first time? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, that was... Is she always at your house? I don't have a girlfriend! It wasn't you don't have a girlfriend. It was your girlfriend is never over. I see. You didn't actually perform, did you? What a nerd. Uh, something in me that I think was pride was yelling at me. What, your boyfriend is incredible or something? Like, I should have just told her honestly that I was a virgin. Uh, she was super satisfied. I might look like this, but I'm pretty good at it. Huh? She said that she melted just from me looking at her. Yeah, that's totally not a thing. Uh, I see. Mm. Th then try it. Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Stare at me. Ah! You make women melt by looking, right? Let me have a taste. What do I do? I'm sure I should just back off, but like, I can't move it! And, and I can't look away! Why are you frozen? Is this technique? I just gotta be honest! Nakata, I, I was wrong! I see. You're able to keep it in your pants, huh? I'm not even allowed to taste test? Did we just kiss? <laughs> Sorry! That was an accident! You don't have to be so mean about it. I won't tell your girlfriend. I don't have a- I don't want to hear it. Ah! Is a hug cheating? If it's not, just hug me. I'm not trying to steal you or anything. What are you talking about? You want me to hug you? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't. You're too much of a straight edge. <laughs> she must be very important to you. No! No! I don't have a girlfriend and I'm still a virgin! I chugged some water and took a breath before telling her the truth. What the hell? I know. I'm sorry. You must be upset. Of course. You have no idea how sad I was. Stupid. Nagata isn't good at crying. And she's definitely not someone who cries often. I knew that, so I was even less sure about what was going on. Can I hug you? Like, I've never hugged you, so you'd be my first. You've never had a hug? Shut up! I'm shy. <laughs> Guess it's the first time for both of us, huh? I'm also a virgin, you know. What? Really? Yes, I'm a super pure, innocent, pure virgin girl. 
super pure, innocent, pure virgin girl? Yes, super pure, innocent, pure virgin girl. Nagata actually didn't have any experience in relationships at all. She was so beautiful that no one had the balls to ask her out. Like, she also never fell for anyone either. You're the first person I've ever wanted to go out with. I hope you're ready. I don't know why she fell for me at all, but before I questioned it, I was already moving. If you're okay with a guy like me, let's go out. Of course, I'd love to. Oh, by the way, you were right. Huh? I'm super nervous just by looking at you. You're a smooth criminal. Ah, uh, shut up. Like, I'm the one that's nervous. We have to skip what happened at our first time to protect the channel, but the normal flow of conversation that we had at work completely changed from that day. Well, you've got a handmade bento. Your girlfriend made it for you? You're my girlfriend! <laughs> Is it good? Yeah! Perfect food from my perfect girlfriend! Ah, oh, perfect response from my perfect boyfriend. You two get a room! Good! It looks like you've cleared the target for the first quarter. Uh, but... But? I think you could have done better. No, that was the best I could do! I'm just a regular guy without anything special. <laughs> My name is Tadashi Horinouchi. I'm 24 years old and work as a programmer in a small app development company. Tomomiya-san is an engineer and my boss. We're having a one-on-one -on -one for the quarterly work eval. You know, you say that, but I really do think you're capable. How about you try to find work to do on your own when you have a little time? Try to be more aggressive in looking for opportunities. You might be able to get a big-time project sent your way and be on the path for promotions. You know the kind of person I am, Tomomiya-san. I'm not interested in that kind of thing. Besides, if I just go all aggressive, I'll just be spinning tires. Mm, I don't know about that. Yep, for sure. I'm just a regular guy. Our company is an app dev company, but it's not that we make apps for ourselves. We take apps that other companies need us to make, so the sales department is a vital part of our company. One day, a woman showed up in the sales department. Hello, everyone. My name is Yurina Makioka. I will be working in the sales department from now on. Nice to meet you all. Huh, coming to a different department to greet everyone? Pretty straight-edge lady. All right, things are going to pick up, guys. Why is that? Makioka-san is very good at presentations and a great salesperson. I think we'll keep getting new projects to work on. Ugh, really? Hard-working, passionate employee? Definitely not my type. She's pretty and can work well. Talk about perfect. But I wonder why she showed about in the blue, huh? That's a good question. Where was she before? All right, time to get back to work, guys. There's a pretty girl here, too. Huh? No, not huh. <laughs> Tomomiya-san's predictions were spot on. Makioka-san was getting all kinds of new projects thrown our way, so my department had a heavy workload. So much so that we needed more programmers because there weren't enough of us. How's it going? Yeah, it's going well. I think I'll be able to finish up around five. Sounds good. Yes, ma'am. I'm just gonna shut up and finish up my work on time. Ugh, I couldn't finish this stuff off with an extra 24 hours. I'm gonna have to just work later. You're staying late? Yeah, well, I've been awake. Can I see your project schedule? Uh, yeah. Hmm, this is pretty tough to begin with, man. Should have them rewrite you a new schedule. Uh, it's kind of too late to be bringing it up, though, though. The clients want it done on time. But it's their fault for assigning you something that you can't finish on time anyway. So, yeah, to my son. Huh? I don't know what's going on, but sure? Afterwards... Afterwards, Tomomiya-san talked to the whole team and negotiated with her bosses to adjust the schedule. Oh, hey. Hey, yeah. Makioka-san, I think I saw her at the welcoming party, but I haven't actually talked to her. You're Horinouchi from development, right? Oh, yeah, I'm a programmer. Tadashi Horinouchi. I've heard a lot about you. I mean, I hope it's good things. I've heard a lot about you, too. Huh? I've heard that you're great at schedule management, not only programming, and you're a great advisor. No, no, that's way too blown out of proportion. I'm just a regular employee. But I was blown away when I heard that. 
How so? I didn't even think about the other team members. I just secured deals. I need to think about timing for contracts and whatnot. Sorry about that. You don't need to apologize for that. Yeah, it's pretty tough to know about other departments, huh? Yeah, it would help me out a lot if you could teach me some. Oh, go ahead. Excuse me. Why are you working so hard? Uh-huh. Uh, I guess I want to work hard because everyone else is working hard around me. That's it? Yeah, that's it. But you don't think you're trying too hard? It's not like there's a bare minimum. This job is so fun! <laughs> oh, what a wonderful smile. Is it really that simple, though? A few days later, there was a huge ruckus in our department. All right, got here 10 minutes early, as usual. Good mor- You hear about it, Morinoche? About what? makioka song got a deal with Cyber Recruit! The Cyber Recruit? It was the biggest project since the company started. It was gonna be worth millions. Huh? She's working hard. Why are you acting like she's the only one working hard? You're in the team for that project! Ugh, talk about being busy. I'll just do what I always do. We started a conference that afternoon. I'm going to be managing the scheduling for this project. I think it's going to be a big job, but I'm looking forward to working with you guys. Can you open your schedules, please? Let's see. Oh... How is it? It's a little difficult, to be honest. We don't have enough people to meet these deadlines. Okay, I'll try to negotiate with our clients. Also, let me try to get more people on your team. Thank you. I think you can work well with her, huh? I think so. She really is a hard worker, huh? <clears throat> the project continued on and it became more and more busy. The clients wanted more and more and there were many changes along the way, too. We were having to deal with all of that the whole time. Hey, here's a little something to keep you going. Thank you for the help. And? The clients want you to make some modifications again. Oh, figures. I'm so sorry. That's not your fault. Right, Horinochi? That's just how it works. Can't be helped. It's going to be even more busy, though. I'll do my best to at least negotiate a better schedule. Excuse me? She's always smiling. Yeah, full of energy. She's got an infinite amount of energy, huh? I think she's actually tired, though. Huh? You're still working? I figured I'd stay behind for 30 minutes. Rare of you to say that. I mean, I'm just gonna be bored at home anyway. Uh-huh. I'm gonna focus now, so you should go home. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to tell me twice. Huh. Look at him, actually trying. Then I ran into Makioka-san in the elevator again a few days later. Oh, hey, Horinochi-san. Hey, her smile is as beautiful as ever, but she seems different. She looks sick. Uh, Are you okay? Sorry, I just kind of fell off balance in heels. No, she's sick. Let me see something real quick. Excuse me. She's got a fever. You should go home today, Makioka-san. No, I have work to do. You keep talking about work, that's why you're sick. But I want to work hard. Hey! Excuse me, thanks for worrying about me. <sighs> she's smiling, but I know she's sick. Why wouldn't I be worried? I went back to my desk and things were crazy after separating from Makioka-san. We have a huge problem, Marinouchi! Mabuyama has ran! Huh? Everyone is saying that he disappeared during lunch, and when they checked his desk, he got a little note that reads, I'm going back home, and a letter of resignation. <sighs> we were doing pretty good keeping up to a schedule without having to work too late. Let's just figure out how far he's gotten. We just have to spread it amongst ourselves. I actually just looked on the computer, but it's all kinds of messed up coding, so I don't know what's what. What? Makioka-san heard what was going on, so she came over to check it out. She didn't look sick at all this time around. I heard what happened. Would you be able to help me reschedule everything? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I think she'll be able to handle it, though. Yeah, we're in good hands, I think. Uh-huh. She's gonna pretend everything is fine again. What happens if she collapses? 
Rescheduling is going to take a toll on her. She's got her own work to do. I'll handle all of the work that Mabuyama was doing. All of it? I'll rewrite it from the start. Just leave the schedule as is. What? You're going to take on his workload too? You're not exactly free either, are you? I mean, I think I'm all right. Huh? Just watch how I do today. You can adjust as necessary. Just relax for today. Uh, okay? All done. All right, done. I'll move on to the next page, okay? He, he's flying through that code. It's three times no faster than that. And he's even making a template for us to use. He was this good. Who are you, Horinochi-san? I'm just a regular office worker. I'm really just a regular office worker. Come on, guys. Get back to your work. Don't let him do everything. Yeah. Work went smoothly. The clients are satisfied with the product. Yeah. Thank you all so much. All right. Time to go celebrate. You'll go, right, Horinochi? Ugh, I'm going to go home and sleep. No, no, no. We couldn't have done this without you. We need the MVP there. I just did what I could. See you guys tomorrow. Just another day for you, huh? All right, time to go home. Horinochi-san. Akiyoka-san? You didn't go to the celebration? I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> huh? There's a nice bar nearby. Would you like to talk there? She turned down the celebration to come talk to me. Okay, let's go then. Yeah, thank you. Counter, huh? She's a little too close to me. I'm kind of nervous. We cheered and started talking about what she wanted to talk about. So, what is it? I'm really thankful of you. I want to thank you. Um, did I do anything? You did all that work and you're going to pretend you didn't? You're an incredible person, aren't you? No, no, I just felt good this time around. I'm just a regular office worker. <laughs> you say regular a lot. I feel like you're trying to convince yourself. Is there a reason? Are you not regular so you want to become regular? Well, she was spot on. There was nothing that I wasn't good at from a young age. I was always good with sports. I could pass any test without opening a book. It was all easy. You're so good at this stuff. He got another award. At first, everyone praised me, and I was really happy to hear that. I worked hard for that standard, but it's kind of scary sometimes. You got first place again! Huh, again? I was always top of the class, so when I got second, people were shocked. If I kept top of the class in my school, I could go for the nationals. I didn't like that pressure, so I just wanted to be regular. You know, the pressure is on after you bring up the bar, you know? But she works so hard anyway, why? Because I love my job. Is that simple? It is to me anyway. I like new challenges, so I changed jobs. But I'm not going to push this ideology onto someone else. Let me ask you a question now. Why did you work hard this time around? Well, I can fool her all I want, but I had to tell her the truth. I wanted to help you out. Huh? I saw you working so hard, and honestly, I pitied you. But you were also so shiny, and I wanted to help you, so maybe I just wanted to look good in front of you? Is that a good enough answer? Yes, and it's exactly what I wanted to hear. Will you go out with me? No matter what you say, you're not regular. You're special. Special, huh? I guess special in this situation isn't too bad. Yeah, let's go out. Afterwards, I returned to my normal, regular self but I would help out more or make more suggestions. I'm sure it's because of my girlfriend's very motivated attitude. Tarashikun! Yurina! I finished my meeting. Let's eat. She's making time for me and running to eat with me. She's so cute. Ah, uh, I'm honestly turning red watching. Yeah, me too. Ah, oh, it's so good. Thanks for making food for me when you're so busy. I'm training to be a good wife. I want to go look at dresses this weekend. You try as many as you want. I'm going to wear like 100 dresses. You gotta give me opinions on each. Of course, I want to see you in a dress too. Huh? Huh? You can't do that. What are you talking about? 
Honestly, I don't have any special skills as a husband or father. But if my family is happy, then I'm okay with it. I'll do whatever I need to make sure they're happy.